So Neural DSP just dropped a brand new plugin that I am super excited for, the Tone King Imperial MK2. The amp in real life is based on a Fender Deluxe style amp, and I own a vintage Fender Deluxe. So I figured, hey, let's put them head to head. <laughs> Is one actually better sounding than the other? Um, I've seen other videos on this, but I figured I'd do my own just because it's a brand new plugin that no one's used before, and this amp is sick. So <laughs> it could be it could be interesting. Um, before we get into that, let's take a look at the plugin. So right off the bat, you can see this has a similar look to all the Neural DSP plugins. So if you've owned uh, any of the other ones, you'll know exactly how to use this. Before we get into the amp, let's start with the pedals, right? So it comes with a wah pedal. I tend never to really use these. <laughs> I I think if I was going to do it, I'd rather just put a real wah pedal in front um, in my DI chain and then run that into this. But if you like, it's there. And then the pedals which go before the amp that are sick. So we have this compressor, overdrive one, overdrive two. They stack really well. I've been having a lot of fun with turning down the drive on both of these and then stacking them and kind of carving out tones. So the amp itself is, it's cool. So there's the rhythm channel and the lead channel. The rhythm channel is obviously cleaner because it's a rhythm channel, right? You can crank it to kind of get a edge of breakup kind of thing. Treble bass reverb, a spring reverb, which I am going to put head to head with the real spring reverb in my amp because why not? <laughs> and then we have a tremolo and then lead channel, uh, volume, tone, and mid bite. And then there's this option to select the back of the amp which has these attenuator, attenuation options. And then it has the same mic page as all the other Neural Disp amps. But what's awesome is they added a room level, right? So you can get the, the sound of having an amp in a room and setting up a room mic and getting that really roomy sound. <laughs> It's a cool sound. Um, it works really well for like leads and stuff like that. The EQ, just like all the other plugins, and then just some delay, reverb, chorus. This is not spring reverb to my knowledge. So there's two reverbs in this plugin. There's the, the one at the end of the chain, uh, the pedal, and then there's the spring reverb right here. So why don't we get the amp started, mic it up. You can see it's already mic'd up, but I filmed a cool little montage of me micing it up, so I'm gonna play that now. Thank you. 
so I have my, my two waveforms here. Um, the first one on top is the, the amp. So I'm going from my deluxe reverb into a SM57 straight into my interface. And then the DI, which is just my guitar into my interface with the gain boosted a little bit, just cause I like to get the, uh, the hottest DI possible without clipping, of course, just so I can have a pretty low noise floor. I thought it'd be cool to hear these two waveforms kind of solo them back and forth. And then we can look, we can take a closer look at the DI and I'll go through some of the settings in the plugin. Sweet. So let's just go back and forth between the two first. So they're both being processed exactly the same in this electric guitar folder. So there's just like some compression EQ and then reverb and delay. So they're both getting the same treatment. The only difference is one's the amp and one's the plugin. Sweet, so let's start with the amp. And the same thing with the DI. They do sound different, right? Because this this amp isn't exactly a, a deluxe. It's just based on one. So they took the deluxe and then made a bunch of modifications to it. But the, to me, they both sound good. It's not like one sounds better than the other. They're just very different. I mean, of course, that's opinion. That's my opinion. So if you think one sounds better than the other, then uh, let me know in the comments. But OK, so I'm going to play this and then I'm going to be switching back and forth. difference in mid-range I've noticed. And then this amp and my deluxe both don't have mid mid-range knobs, so you would have to adjust that with like an EQ plugin or an EQ pedal. This amp sounds a little more scooped to me compared to the Deluxe. It also has more high end. But like in a mix, the you can get both of them to sound just as good. And I doubt anyone would be able to tell if you're using a real amp or a, um, or a DI. Cool, so I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna leave this section on a loop and then we can go through some of the, um, the different settings in the plugin and see how, see how everything sounds. So this is how it sounds with no processing and it's just the DI into the amp and cab. So you can tell there's this is not nearly as loud, so I'm going to I'm going to be turning it up. And you can tell this amp doesn't have a master volume, and the reason I'm not turning up the volume in the rhythm channel is that if you turn this up, the amp is going to start to distort just like a real amp would. So I'm turning up the output here on the right hand side so that it's just like a clean level boost. Cool, so let's get into these pedals here. So the first one, compressor. So I, I tend to turn up my pedals in front of the amp to kind of boost my signal into the amp just because that's the sound that I tend to like. Cool, 
let's hear this overdrive. <laughs> I think that there would sound sick. Um, and then overdrive too. Definitely a uh, stronger overdrive. Um, I don't really know what these are based on. You can kind of assume that the first one is maybe like a Tube Screamer style thing and the second one is maybe like a more of a distortion, but I am not sure. <laughs> So let's keep it clean and let's go to the amp and kind of mess with some knobs. Here's what happens if I turn up the volume knob on the rhythm channel. See, you can hear that the, the amp distorts just like a real amp would, right? It also compresses more because that's what happens with the real amp. When you crank it past a certain point, it doesn't really get louder, it just gets more distorted especially on low watt amps. And then let's adjust the, uh, the treble and bass. So the reverb and tremolo section, I think is really cool. So if I turn up this tremolo, you get that vintage Fender tremolo sound. It, it sounds so good, especially on like a Strat or Tele like rhythm thing, open chords. Having the tremolo adds just so much texture. Cool, so let's get rid of that and go to the next. So here's what the room knob does. Here's without it, and then I'm gonna slowly turn it up. So obviously if I turn it up all the way, it's gonna sound weird. Real room mics, there's also like a phase thing that happens. Which you can hear that a little bit here. Having a room mic just opens up the guitar sound a little bit. It's not so claustrophobic and tight. It's more just open and, well, roomy. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna turn on this ribbon 121, which adds a little bit more bass and low mids. And this EQ, let's take out a little bit of low end. And then we have the chorus, delay, and reverb. I mean, that's like a fully processed, awesome guitar amp sound. Like if you told me that was a real amp, I would 100% believe you. I, Cause I've heard so many Fender amps mic'd up in like a studio and th this is what it sounds like. So of course, one of the major benefits to using a real amp is how the amp reacts to increasing the volume, right? So the more you increase it, the, the more distorted and like overdriven the amp gets. So I figured I'll crank this amp to where it's way too loud in the room. I'm, I'm wearing headphones, so it's, it's not too bad, but, and compare that to how the cranked amp in the plugin sounds, and you guys can decide 
Is it, is it accurate? It, does it sound good? That kind of thing. And then I'll leave you guys with that. If you guys like these kind of videos, uh, make sure to, to comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Kind of lets me know what direction to take this channel. I'm trying a bunch of different things. I want to be more active on the YouTube channel because I enjoy, I enjoy putting these together. And so I hope you guys like them. If there's any suggestions or any other amp modelers you want me to try, any other comparisons, let me know. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the comparison. Thank you. 